Okay, let's start this half double crochet herringbone dishcloth. I am using Lily Sugar and Cream. It is um, a four weight and the herringbone, half double crochet herringbone is done in any number of stitches. So for, I went ahead and done my 26, I did 26 chains and it says to add one more. So that would be 27 chains. This will yield about an 8 inch by 8 inch washcloth, okay? Dishcloth, washcloth. So here's what we're going to do. We already did our one extra. We're going to be working in these back bumps. Um, if you turn it over just sideways, you can see there's a back bump there, back bump, back bump, back bump. And that's what we're going to be working in. So to do the herringbone, a half double crochet herringbone, we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into that back bump that you see. Now it's going to be one, two, it's going to be like the third stitch from the hook, but if you turn it over, it's the one that you see. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into that back bump. The first one is always a little, your first row is always fiddly. So let's go into there. You're going to draw up a loop, pull through one, and you're going to pull through the second one. So it's a little hard to get through the second one. So I always pull this down and turn and get through that first one and then draw through two. So let's, there's the back bump right there. Let's yarn over, go into that back bump, draw up a loop, pull through one, and pull through the second one, and then go through two. So yarn over, go into the back bump, yarn over, pull through one, pull through the second one, and then go through two. That's all it is to a half double crochet herringbone stitch. So we're going to work that stitch all the way down here to the chain one. Okay? So I'm going to let you go and I will be right back when I have reached my very last one and I'll show you what you do after that. Alright, so do that and we'll be right back. Okay, we are done here on the end. I just finished my last herring, uh, half double crochet herringbone there. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. We're going to do the same stitch again because this is a, a one row repeat. So yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop and go through the very first one and then yarn over and go through two. Draw up a loop, or okay, yarn over into the loop for the stitch, draw up, go through that one, and go through the first one, and then two. So that's basically all the herringbone is. It's getting used to. Um, going through that first one and the second one. It took me a little bit to get used to it, so there you go. So continue this. I apologize, you can hear it thundering again. Naturally, while I'm trying to do this video, it wants to act up. 
So, that's what a half double crochet herringbone is. So I'm going to work this pattern back and forth, back and forth, probably, I don't know, I'll tell you how many rows I did to achieve an eight inch um, washcloth. So I'll be right back in just a few minutes. Okay, we're at the end of row two. Let's finish our last one. And so this is the repeat row. One and two is going to be, you're gonna do the same um, stitch over and over again until you get eight inches or whatever uh, length you want. I'm choosing to do eight. So I'm going to start the row out and then I'm going to stop and then come back and show you or tell you how many rows that I did and yeah. So go ahead and do yours and then I will meet up with you and tell you how many rows I have. So we're down here on the last row two. We're going to chain one. We're going to turn and we're going to repeat the same pattern again. It's yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, uh, go through the very first one, and then yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, into the stitch, yarn over, pull through the first one, and the first loop on your hook, and pull through two. Okay, go ahead and do the same stitch all the way down and I will meet you back when I have reached my eight inches is what I want, okay? But you can do any, um, as much, as many uh, inches as you want, okay? So I'll be right back. All right, everyone. I have just completed 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 rows of the half double crochet herringbone stitch. And like I said, that these washcloths are not going to be anything. I'm not selling them or anything like that. So I'm going to finish this off with a single crochet because I started with a single crochet down here. So a single crochet is just going to be um, put your hook in the stitch, draw up a loop, draw up a loop, and go through two. In the stitch, draw up a loop, pull through, yarn over, and go through two. That is all a single crochet is, and that's all I'm going to do to this washcloth. So let's do that all the way down. Now, if I was going to um, make these for craft fairs, I would probably do a nice fancy border. Maybe a shell lace, a peacoat, um, or probably go all the way around with a single crochet but I'm gonna just do this so finish up with just doing a single crochet in each stitch across And when we get to the end on here, we are going to do a single crochet, a chain one, give it a little tug. And I usually hold my hand out with it as far as my finger will go. And then I give it a clip because I think that's just enough to weave in your end. So that's it. So you're going to take your needle 
I prefer with cotton to use a pointed one. And weave in your end. And since it's on the outside, I kind of like to go like here, it's coming out there. There's the knot. So I kind of like to go on the outside of that and then work my way down to about the um, a row, what I consider a row. So you just pull that in a little bit like that. It looks like part of the stitch. And then weave, weave in and out, back and forth. Ugh. I'm trying to work around this camera. Just weave in and out. It doesn't have to be I'll do that, pull that through, and I will give it a little tug there, straighten it out, and then give that a cut, and there you go. I will also weave this one in, and you have a half double crochet herringbone washcloth, and look. I don't think a washcloth needs to be any bigger than your hand, is what I feel. Now, I may be totally wrong, but that's just my preference when it comes to washcloth. So, there you go. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Make yourself a couple of them for your home, or if you want to learn, if you want to do it to um, do it for a craft fair, add a special border, any kind of border around it, and yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.